Hi, I'm Diane from Diane's Nottingham Property Blog. Today I want to give you my take on the importance of understanding school catchment areas when investing in properties. We all know that agents assess the market value of properties by looking at properties that are in the locality, that are comparable. That's not always the best rule of thumb to use when you're actually looking at an investment for yourself. Not many children have the luxury of having the sort of upbringing that can rely on wealth to provide them with the best education possible. Those children must rely on the quality of education on offer, potentially in their local school. As most parents want the best for their children, they'll do anything to get their children into the perfect school. Just because you live near a school, it does not mean that you're guaranteed to be within its catchment area as they can change and are confusing. They may not even have a catchment area. I'll talk to you about Carltonley Willows because that's the school that I actually went to and I know it really, really well. That particular school is rated good by Ofsted and is often a first choice. The pan for Colton Willows this September is 240. So it's very, very likely that there's going to be far more applications than 240. Therefore, the admissions criteria is absolutely crucial. Catchment is one of the key admission criteria for Halton Willow School and unfortunately it's quite confusing because you would assume that there's a circle drawn around the school and everything within that circle is in the catchment. But if you get that wrong and you purchase a property that is not in the catchment area, your property could be worth less than the one next door that is in the catchment area. There's a property for sale on Station Avenue in Gedling, advertised on Rightmove, which is a three-bed semi priced at 260k. Despite being just 0.4 miles away from Carlton Willows School, it does not fall within the catchment area. I would therefore not invest in this property. A family may look at purchasing this house with their children's education in mind without knowing the complicated catchment area argument. It's located on Stoke Lane within 1.1 miles from the secondary school, a three bed semi-detached in the Gedling area, priced at 290k, currently falls within the catchment area for Carlton the Willows. You might think that this is not worth considering as it's more expensive and further away. And if they were looking at sending their child to the local school, then they might think that this is not a great purchase. Equally for investors, that's really relevant information to take on board because the perceived value will be less. This would potentially a better investment than the one outside the catchment area for the school. Having been an independent appeals panel chair, I can actually say firsthand that many, many parents either rent or buy houses assuming that they're going to get their child into their chosen school. They've not understood the catchment area argument and they've not understood the admissions criteria for the school. I'm confident that most agents won't understand that either. Your property could, if you buy it at the right price, be worth a lot more than the one next door that isn't in the catchment of a really good school. Thank you so much for watching my little video blog today and I hope to see you next week with my next Diane's Nottinghamshire property blog.